Welcome back to our channel. For today, I have this look here, which is a fox eye tutorial, uh, which is a trend that's going on right now. And I really wanted to try it because I really love cat eyes and fox eyes, tiger eyes, lion eyes, like this. I love that. So um, that's what I tried today. Something new because I never put eyeliner here in the middle. So from now, I'm going to try to post every Monday and Thursday. I'm going to try. Please let me know if you guys are excited for that, for me to have, have like an uploading schedule. Let's keep this short. If you guys want to know how I do the fox eyes and this whole makeup look, then stay tuned. Starting off with doing my brows with the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. So I'm just going to draw them in and at the end I'm going to finish them. But I don't like to do the brows at last because, because of that the brows are kind of wet then with like product in it. The pencil will be a lot more intense so I really don't like that. I always like to start with doing my brows. But then doing the brow gel after setting spray because the brow hairs can go down and I really don't like that. So especially for this look because we need the brow hairs to go up. So how are you guys doing? I am going to try to, from now, I'm going to try somehow in all these four years, I think I only managed to do this for only one month to really keep up with a schedule to always post on the same day, but I just could not keep up. And I'm now again going to challenge myself to do this. So this week I already started with posting the organizing video on Monday and I'm going to try to post this tomorrow on Thursday. I think it's just nice for you guys to actually know when I'm going to post. Now I'm just randomly, okay, there she is again <laughs> after two weeks. Okay, there she is again at a Sunday and then at a Wednesday. So uh, I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to clean up my brows with the P. Louise base. I have it in number two, but I actually, I actually want to buy it in one shade darker because I feel like I actually love to have a eye base in the same color as my skin, that it's not too bright around your eyes. I really don't, I actually don't like that. So yeah, I got a lot of questions on um, how my nose is doing right now. It's actually doing great. It's still a little bit swollen especially in the morning. My nose looks really thick. And this is the only bruise I still have. It's just a really little bruise. It's almost back to normal. I really thought it was broken and that I had to re-break it and put it straight again. But thankfully it was just, just bruised and that's why it looked like it was pointing to the side. And I'm going to explain it one more time. Still getting questions like, whoa, what have you done to your face? At Eat we were dancing me, my friends, and my little brother. And I started headbanging, like really hard, I went down. And at that point, my little brother, he's seven years old, he decided to run at me and he wanted to, he, he explained, because I was just like, what was your plan? Why did you do that? Um, he wanted to run into my stomach with his head. He wanted to kind of attack me. But at that po point, I went down. I knocked with my nose on top of his head, like, super hard so my nose started bleeding and i thought i was going to die actually because i thought my bone got into my brains <laughs> it was so painful after a week i went to the hospital and they told me it was not broken so that's the story of my nose now i'm going in with my favorite palette the soft glam from anastasia and i'm going into burnt orange and i'm going to softly blend that into my crease i'm barely pressing the brush onto my skin. I'm just really softly going over it. That's how you get a really soft blend. I'm going to wing it out. This is going to make the eyes longer and create a more, a longer eye. So I just have some translucent powder on my finger and I'm just going to set the lid a little bit to just prevent it from creasing. Now I'm going into Rustic, this color here. I'm going to use a flat brush, the 20 brush from Anastasia. And I'm going to just follow my, my lash line. Now I'm going to create a line and I'm going to follow my um, lower lash line or water line. So I'm going up. So I went in with a lighter color just to see where we are going to make the lines and then I'm going to darken it up with a darker shadow. So that's something you can do if you find uh, doing eyeliner or a smoky eyeliner hard. Then I would recommend first going in with lighter colors. Black is just always um, scary. 
I'm going to smoke that out with a smudge brush. This is a firm shader E57 by Sigma. And I'm only going to smoke out the, the wing and this part, not in here, not in the inner part, because that, that needs to be really clean and really thin. Now I'm going in with Cypress Umber and with my thinnest um, eyeliner brush, it's the 7B by Anastasia. I'm going to sharpen and darken the wing. Going back in with Burnt Orange and I'm going to blend it a little bit into the inner part of my eye so that I can do my nose contour and connect it together because I really feel like that gives a really kind of like a cat look, animal look, <laughs> animal look. I never go with my shadows till here. So this is something I need to get used to. Sometimes I do things with makeup and I'm like, okay, this is going to look terrible. And at the end it always comes together and looks good. So I'm now going to do the face because I want to do, apply concealer. So. When I'm going in with the eyeliner in the middle, could be that I'm fading it away with my concealer. So I'm going to finish the eyes at the end. I'm going to start with primer, the Fenty Hydrating Primer. This primer is one of my favorite primers to really hydrate and it's a really nice base for foundations. It will make you look more human because <laughs> sometimes I feel like you're with a lot of makeup, we look like dolls. Me personally, I love the more human look. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I li like to go extreme with makeup, like on Instagram especially. And then I'm going in with the Hydrating Primer by Fenty. So this is the reason why I always wear turbans with makeup tutorials, because it's not so easy to go around your scarf. And then the Fenty Concealer. Now for bronzer, I'm going in with the Lion King um, collection from Sir John and Luminous Cosmetics. Um, I thought this is just exactly what I need for this tutorial, you know, the eyes. And I'm just going to do my regular bronzing and contouring. As you can see, I always tap because especially when you haven't set your face yet, you don't want to swipe because you will wipe off the foundation and everything will look not good. So remember that. Now I'm going to do a little bit of nose contouring with this color here. I'm going to follow my brows and I'm going down from this part. I don't know if I can call it an eye socket, but from this part here, I'm going to blend it. I don't know if you guys have seen uh, the hundred. If you haven't, I really, really I'm going to tell you to watch it. I'm actually kind of jealous of you if you haven't watched it yet, because I wish I could just rewatch re it without knowing what's going to happen. But I really love the show. For those who know uh, Alexa from The 100, I really think she's super beautiful. And I also love the makeup that she had because they made it dark here and I think also on her nose, but it was like this effect. And it looked so cool. I wish I could wear that every day, but it's like everyone's going to look like, what is this human? What is going on? <laughs> but I really love, um, I really love that. So, but if you haven't seen the hundred, go watch it. You're not going to regret it. Going in with some blush, I'm going into this color here. This is a NARS palette, the Hot Fix palette. This color here. So I'm going to mix these two colors together from the Be Perfect Sub-Zero Highlighting Collection MMM Initial Palette. <laughs> also highlighting my nose. Now is going to be the part where everything will start to look normal again. I'm going to set with the Fenty Beauty, um, what is this called? Instant Retouch Setting Powder in Butter. Always make sure before setting that there are no creases. Also always love when you guys recreate my looks and tag me or send them to me in DM. 
uh, make sure you keep doing that because I love to do shout outs on the looks that you guys recreate. Love to repost them. So don't forget to send them or tag me. I'm going to spray the dewy set spray to make sure everything melts together and, and to make it dewy. By the way, uh, don't spray too much because this spray makes you really dewy. So if you over spray or if you spray too much, um, you will look greasy. So yeah, I'm going to use the, how is this called? The 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. I love this brow gel because of the little brush that it has. And with this, I'm going to brush the brow hairs up, like really up. Because that's the look we are going for today. Okay, now I'm going to finish up the eyes. I'm going into back in with Cypress Umber, the darker color and the eyeliner brush. I'm going to extend that little so I'm going to use another brush, which is even smaller, and that's the Sigma Winked Eyeliner Brush. A lot easier with this brush. Somehow I'm kind of nervous about this. Okay. Okay, that totally changed my face. Although it's a really small little point. So what do you guys think? This kind of gives me a Arabic makeup vibe. And I'm going back in with Burnt Orange. I'm going to blend this Burnt Orange underneath my eyes and I'm going to connect it to the wing. Now the wing is also blended underneath. Oh, I love this. I'm just going to apply some mascara. I'm going to apply these lashes Happy Wife, Happy Life by Lily Lashes. I'm going to cut them uh, a little bit more as usual because I want to really have that winked out uh, effect. So now I'm going to put in green lenses because I really feel like that's going to do it. I feel like it's not doing it right now yet. Uh, these are green lenses in wild green from Desio. I have a code, it's Laila Sari. I also have it in the description box to save you 10% of the lenses. So uh, this is my favorite lens brand because they have the most natural looking lenses and also the most comfortable lenses and also the lenses that last the longest. Because a lot of the lenses will feel after a month they will feel terrible in your eyes. With these lenses, you don't have that. Okay, so I really feel like this really did it. This really made the eyes more foxy-like. Last step, the lips. I'm going for a brown lipstick. I think that's nice with this look. I'm going to use this combo, the Lip Contour by Huda & Flirt and this matte lipstick in Last Night, also by Huda Beauty. And that's it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I want to know from you guys, how do you think I did? Do you feel like this is a foxy look? Does it really look like the trend that's going on right now? How did I do? Also send me pictures if you guys tried this look or any other of my looks, make sure to do that. Because I really love to give you guys shout outs. So um, yeah, please like and let me know if you guys like me to post every Monday and Thursday on this YouTube channel. Uh, and that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.